So I'm starting with the with the top layer. I'm lifting up one section and then what I do is is that I, I just go back like that, you know? So by going back, you kind of prep the next, the next wave, you know? It starts to get heated. So you lay the hair with the comb, with the comb you lay the hair to one side and then you lay it to the, to the other side on the, on, the, on the next one. So here you pinch it and then you lay the hair to the side. And so by going up, you, you start marking, you mark the next wave. And as you see, this one we're doing, I mean, it, it makes it such a strong drawing, such a strong kind of pattern. Um, I'm not using any product, there's, like, there's no product required on this one. This is a little bit the same thing I was saying about the French twist. It's not really a hairstyle that you really do, actually, you know, unless maybe for Dita Vaptiz or uh, Gwen Stefani, you know, or, or, or people who are really, who love this era because it's, it's very much a look of this era, you know. So it's not really about the look, it's really about the technique because, you know, it, it englobes a lot of the way you manipulate and the way you, you know, the kind of the, the mindset it puts you in with the iron is interesting. Uh, it'll, it'll make it, you know, it'll, it's a lot of open doors to uh, uh, things you can do with the iron. It could look kind of easy when you look at it, but when you try to do it, then you understand that <laughs> it's not easy at all. It's, it's, it's very precise. 